Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on ESP IDF with VS Code. My name is Hari Harna. In the previous video, we have looked into the basics of BLE and I have also performed a demo on making the ESP32 scan for all the Bluetooth devices nearby. In this video, we will look into how BLE devices communicate and also perform a demo on making our ESP32 as a Bluetooth device that can be discoverable by our mobile phone. In other words, we will be creating a BLE beacon out of our ESP32 which will advertise an URL continuously and how we can open that as well. We will be setting up the entire project from scratch using ESP IDEA framework in VS Code. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get all the steps right. Let's get started with the video. First, I will explain you some of the basic concepts how the BLE devices communicate. So in the previous video, we have seen two concepts that is peripheral and central and how unique they are. So in this video also, we are going to talk around those concepts. So there are two primary ways by which BLE devices communicate. The first one is directly advertising some of the events or the data that it wants to send. And second one is connecting. So the first one advertising is nothing but the example of beacons. So for example, in this retail store, you can see a beacon here, which is a Bluetooth beacon and it is trying to advertise or transmit some information every 5 seconds or 10 seconds based on the configuration. And the information that it is going to send will be captured on our mobile phone. So for example, this is right now sending some offers of this shirt. So in our mobile phone, we can directly get this offer when we are nearby to that store and then avail that offer. So what is known as advertising? Advertising is nothing but you can constantly broadcast small advertisement packet. In this case, you are just advertising some offer. So this is like one way communication from the beacon to your mobile phone and not the bidirectional. So this is just a broadcast and there is no need of connection and this will have very small data just like some URL or some, some sensor readings etc. And second one is when we want to dig deeper. So for example, we want to control something. So, so we have an LED. We want to control this LED. So for that we have to connect to that device so that we can control it. So that is how we have a central device that will see an advertisement. For example, this LED will be advertising that it, it is going to be an LED and what are the, its features etc. it is going to advertise. And the central device by seeing this advertisement, it can connect to that and then perform two-way communication. So this would be one-to-one -one connection. If you want to dig deeper into this device or any kind of uh, sensor that is also possible after connection. So this will take some extra battery but beacons will not take extra battery because this is one direction and each one has its own use cases. So in this tutorial we will be using ESP32 as a beacon. So it will be advertising one URL continuously and how we can detect that using our mobile phone and then try to open that URL. To get started with the code, you need to open VS Code and the prerequisite is ESP IDF extension to be enabled like this. So if you don't have that ESP IDF enabled, then you can watch my previous video where I have done step by step tutorial on this. So I would highly recommend you to watch it first from the top right corner or in the description before proceeding with this video. Once the setup is done, you can see this logo. So click on it and you will be opening this welcome page. So here you can click on show examples. So we will be using one of the example and select the ESP IDF. So here you can search for nimble and you can see the beacon. So this example, what it does is it will initialize the stack of Nimble. So here we are going to configure our advertisement and scan response data. 
and will also use non-connectable beacon advertisement. So you can click on select location and select your location here and the folder. It will open that and here under the main you can see main.c. So this is the whole program and we don't have to change anything here because this program is specifically designed to enable the beacon. The only few things that we want to change is the URL. So the URL will be found in gap.c. So in the src gap.c you can see. So right now it is going to broadcast expressive.com. So I want to use another URL. So, so I am going to just replace it with my URL. So this is the URL I want to change and broadcast and remaining things will be same. So once this is done, you can connect your ESP32 via the USB to your laptop and go back to ESP IDF Explorer and select the flash method to UART port. So select the correct port and then you need to go to the device target ESP32 and you can either select ESP32 chip or any kind of kit that you have. So I will select the chip and in the programs also you can see SDK config already uh, enabled. So some defaults like BT is enabled, Nimble is enabled and Nimble 5.0 not needed. So this is how the important SDK configs are already enabled because we are using the template. If not, you can go back to the uh, ESP IDF Explorer and click on this SDK configuration and you can select whichever uh, the SDK configurations need. And after that, you can click on build flash and monitor. So now you can see the build is almost completed. And after that, you can see some flashing will be happening. So it is going to write. So once this is written, it will start monitoring to that device. So we can see some of the details like the advertise and advertising started. So you can see the device address is also mentioned. So now I'll try to show my mobile phone and show you what we need to do next. So in the mobile, if you want to detect this advertisement and beacon, so you need to install this NRF connect for mobile from Nordic Semiconductor. Once you have installed from the Play Store or the App Store, you can open it and then you can see the name called Nimble Beacon. So Nimble Beacon, you can click and then you will be able to see different details. So you can see the device type that is low energy only legacy and also the different beacon name and finally you can see the uri so this is the uri that we are publishing so i can click on open to open the url so now with this url you can see my udemy course so like this i can advertise the url and then so everybody who has the option to look into this beacon advertisement can open this link and find my offer. Now let's try to understand some of the important code snippets. So as we know app main is the first function inside that you can see nimble port and those gap in it everything will be initialized. So in the gap.c not in the main.c you can search for gap.c and see start advertising. So that would be one program. So in here you will be having a function which is the main function that will prepare and launch the BLE broadcast. So it will be having some of the fields that you need to add. So those are filled here and so we have seen right so whether it is a role of peripheral and uh, generic tag etc all those things are mentioned here. And then we can see so inside this RSP fields.uri we are providing the ESP URI and also the length of ESP URI. So in, under the gap.c you can see gap.init. So this is also one of the important function that will be setting up one time setup 
that configures the general property of the device itself. So you can see the device name, all those things are being set here. Now that you have built your own VLE beacon to advertise an URL using ESP32, what if you can control an LED from your mobile using VLE? That would make an interesting project, right? In the next video, we'll build the same project. So stay subscribed and hit the bell icon to get the notification when the next video is released. If you found this video informative, please type helpful and smash that like button. You can watch more tutorials on ESP IDF from this playlist. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another interesting video.